<laughs> Looks like you've run off to nap time. Out of Liverpool, England. And his opponent making his pro debut, Brian Sutherland from Shelby, North Carolina, in the blue trunks. And Brian Sutherland knows nothing about boxing. Comes to this, he got into boxing because he was a street fighter, and he figured might as well get paid for boxing or for fighting. And uh, you can see the way he's throwing his punches, no form at all. On the inside, Brian Sutherland. I think it's Ken Kenny Rainford on the inside. The straight punches. Watch how Brian Sutherland just tries to throw anything that he can, flailing at his opponent. Rainford won 24 of his 25 amateur bouts in Great Britain. Turned pro with a third round knockout over Aaron Nance last November. He gets the right hand and that stuns. Brian Sutherland is down. And that's it. Referee Chester Como retrieves the mouthpiece, stops the fight. That is gold. Pure gold. Good two-punch combination up high. Two minutes into the opening round, probably time to... The show's over there, the Muay yeah, Thai, great. Which is why he's doing that. Yeah, that was low. Very. Zanapa happy doing what he's doing and not necessarily winning a whole lot. Uh, shouldn't lie. Oh, big overhand right by Zanapa. Walking into some big punches here. Too many big punches. Have a look at this. He's bombing away, though. And once a Muay Thai fighter, always. Yes. Oh. Let me go. Sound asleep. That's it. That's a big victory. with that. Since the opening bell. Oh, and what a knockout. No way he'll get up from that. Fight's over. Ashley Sexton wins in amazing style. But our concern straight away goes to Usman Ahmed because that was a very, very heavy fight. The Sundome a month ago. It was a successful one. Not long on defense, but he has a lot of power. Shot. Well, from what Jimmy Smith looks like at the beginning of this fight, I think him and Ben Smith may be a pretty good one. Round one, it is scheduled for six, and while that may not sound like a very long bout, it is for a man who's fought all his career as an amateur and ended his first two professional fights before the end of the third round, and that's what Cedric Rose did. And we had Cedric on his second uh, pro fight in one of those knockouts against not a great opposition, as it doesn't look like Rackley. Oh, dear. Rackley walked into that and went down briefly, and will take the count of eight from the referee, Dickie Cole. Now that Rose fight I alluded to was in Lake Charles, Louisiana, one of our favorite stops in the ESPN trip, and right now it looks to me like he's going to do away with Edward Rackley as quickly as he has his other opponents. Rackley keeps on coming with those long arms. You talk about throwing a punch from Australia. He's throwing his from some other planet I don't know. And Edward Rackley is not the most stylish fighter we've ever seen here on ESPN. I think we can say that. He's down again. That'll be the second count, and that'll be enough for the referee, Dickie Cole. He has seen enough. Rackley is taken out by Cedric Rose. He throws punches in slow motion. But he's a lawyer. He's a law graduate. Law graduate. Fuck, fuck. 